Prime Minister Alan Chastney is basking in the glory of the running of the horses at the inaugural Royal St. Lucia Turf Club's National Day event at the DSH Race Course in Viewfort on December 13, 2019. Thousands of people attended the event, which culminated with the $150,000 Pitons Cup won by the horse casting crowns of Taylor Mead Farm. The Prime Minister believes he has won over some skeptical members of the St. Lucian public. And we signed on to this development within six weeks of getting into government. And despite a lot of concerns, um, and in some cases objections, I think that we were able to overcome that and hopefully today um, we've been able to win over a lot more people on our side. Um, that this is a vehicle or for major change and major development of solution. No, I mean the major concern is is that we don't do enough to take advantage of the first step we've made here, and that there may be some people who still want to be naysayers. Um, but I'm hoping that we've been able to convince, if not everybody in this country, that this is the way forward, and this is. A contributing factor to the development of our country. Lamenting what he describes as lost opportunities, Chastney praised DSH Caribbean Star Limited and questioned the motives of those who downplay the project. We are focused as a government to deliver to this country, but we must recognize that we must compete on a global basis. Mediocrity is not going to work. It doesn't work for individuals, it doesn't work for a country. And I am so encouraged by the outpour of support that we've had today. Um, they certainly have voted. I believe internationally we've seen credible names come here. Those of us who are not in the equestrian industry probably would not appreciate the standard of owners that came to this event today. Um, this is not easy to have achieved. And China Horse Club and DSH in particular are making it look much easier than it really is. But I want to say to all of us, it's our time. And anybody who is trying to diminish this opportunity at this time cannot be seen as a friend to the state or the people of this country. And let us work together and achieve greatness. The event was hosted by the China Horse Club, whose founder, Teowa King, is the man behind the Pearl of the Caribbean project in the south of St. Lucia. Happy with the turn of events, A King declined to answer questions about critics who doubt his credentials. Well, um, uh, sadly, I'm not a politician. Um, I just know how to deliver what I'm best at, that's in horse racing. And when we came to this country, we saw like what Prime Minister then, um, uh, Dr. Kenny, and described. And we wanted to invest, but we did not have the headway. Then come Mr. Alan Saxton. So what do you mean you did not have the headway? We well, did not get approval to go ahead. Finish. And then we were about to leave. Then uh, we met the uh, Alan Saxton, and they welcomed us to come back. And then reinforced their commitment to this region. And then we will put in all our resources, and that's what you see today. Prime Minister Shastney admits the racetrack is not a revenue earner for the state, but is intended to be a draw for visitors and a magnet for investment. To have our hotels almost all full right now in the beginning part of December is unheard of in the tourism industry. And there's no doubt that people came for this event. The airports were full, the hotels have been full, the taxis have been full. Um, and those are all benefits, economic benefits to, to our countrymen. And this opportunity of now being able to be on a world-class stage, to be able to attract even more investment and bring that investment to St. Lucia is again opportunity for St. Lucians. But as I said in my speech yesterday, we have to do a better job in education, a better job of building better businesses so they can take advantage of those opportunities and they're not left behind. Officials say there are plans for expansion with the construction of grandstands, resorts and other amenities in the pipeline. The opposition St. Lucia Liberal Party insists that they are not opposed to development but are averse to the current DSH agreement arguing the incentives disadvantage taxpayers who will be saddled with the debt if the project goes belly up. Critics are concerned about the possible environment fallout and gentrification of Viewfort. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.